Hi, it's Kara Kaney from Milligers, and we're looking at the Patricia Breen 2013 collection. Um, the exciting thing that has arrived, of course, is the Halloween. It's that time of year, and I'm sure you're just as excited as we are to be decorating for that. Um, this is the first time that we are having a um, the sculptures of the Halloween pieces. So um, there are two that have arrived, and um, the first one is this little Bates Manor, and. Um, this is a haunted house. It's in this glorious orange color, which I absolutely love because it just really pops. It looks fantastic. Um, and then you'll see, let me look at the front door here. Um, there are these little um, spiders hanging from their webs, um, kind of hanging in midair throughout there. Um, and then in all the windows, all the way around the whole uh, house are these little ghosts. And I guess it's not too haunted. They're not too scary. These ghosts look happy and they're enjoying um, the Halloween season so um, I guess it could be a little more friendly than actually being haunted but but they are ghosts nonetheless um, the whole base of the uh, sculpture is all in this black glitter kind of like where you know the grass would be or something like that and um, then here we are on the sides of it where you have the um, they're kind of looking out the shutters are open and the ghosts are there uh, the back of the house is probably my favorite part where we have the ghost and then we have this um, autumn or Halloween tree. Uh, the, it's very branchy and um, have, you would kind of picture a spooky tree to look. Um, and then it has the little leaves that are in the orange and yellow colors. So, and then as we twist around here, um, you can see more ghosts in the windows. So, uh, very well thought out and I love that there is the design and detail on all sides of this um, Bates Manor. So, uh, really fun, and um, I said the sculptures are phenomenal. I love anything miniature like this. I um, think it's an amazing piece. So, and then uh, this little companion, and of course these can go in the, and we'll show you when we do the Halloween cornucopias that are new this year, um, how these can be placed in there. But this is Barnabas, and um, this is a very uh, fashionable bat. He um, has this little purple uh, I want to oh, it's not a bow tie, it's actually tied with a bow and it's kind of spilling down the front of him. And his wings are open, he's proud, he's a, um, well, an amazing looking bat here. So, uh, there's just a little, just a amazing little added touches to the detail. So, he has just a little bit of glitter right along the top of his, um, his opened wings. Um, and then his, actually his little feet, which we, you will not be able to see, but um, are the actual coolest part. He's got um, little bat feet and they're actually, it's not just blobbed on there, they're, well, I haven't been up and close and personal to a bat foot, but um, I believe that's how it would look. So it's very, um, very correct um, in the details. So the top of the pumpkin has this, these little um, purple scallops and then they're further embellished with the uh, crystals on the top. And then your jack-o'-lantern is in the black. Um, the way that the panels are, I like that the, the shading that is done on that gives it a little more um, dimension and depth. And um, then you have that bright yellow um, paint of the jack-o'-lantern. So that really pops and looks great. Um, as we spin, well, I guess I should do this. It's, it's rather tiny. Um, <clears throat> the way that he's painted in this black um, is appropriate the appropriate for the, like the way that the light would hit the ornament or the sculpture so on the top here it's a little bit lighter black and then graduates down into a deep richer dark black um, so he's lighter on the top and then um, shading down towards the bottom so um, just amazing detail and you can see year by year how the um, the detail and the plan of um, how these are created is uh, further embellished upon and um, absolutely amazing. So again, these are great in the cornucopias, but we also want to show you how great they look freestanding. Um, very impressed. So uh, Bates Manor, Barnabas, amazing sculptures for this year. We're so excited. Um, they're available on our website at milligers.com, and then you can email Lori at lori at milligers.com. She's our Patricia Green consultant.